Oh, since the return of the Fourth Republic in Nigeria, presidential election results have always been contested at the tribunal, except the 2015 presidential election. Well, after this year's presidential election, five political parties and their candidates filed separate petitions against the results that declared Bola Ahmed Tinubu winner. The election tribunal is mandated to deliver judgment within 180 days from the date of filing of the petition, but by that time, the declared winner would have been sworn in. This, and among, among other things, have raised calls for the amendment of the Electoral Act, and we shall be speaking with a legal practitioner on that today on The Breakfast. And um, we won't just stop at that. That will be the first hot topic we'll be taking a look at. After that, we'll be taking a second hot topic on Nollywood. Nigeria's Nollywood is the second largest film industry in the world with more than 2,500 movies each year and an estimated annual revenue of $6.4 billion and watched all over the continent with a growing international audience. From its early days in 1992 to date, the Nigerian film industry has had its roots in the country's rich traditions and culture. The breakfast this morning shall be discussing with Thelma Ngosu, a popular actress and producer, about how Nollywood is helping to sustain our history and traditional values. We'll also be taking a look at some headlines on the national dailies with Up the Press as we get joined by an analyst to critically analyze some of the headlines this morning on The Breakfast. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast. It is the Mindset Monday edition of the program. I am Maureen. And I'm Justin Akadanye. Many thanks for joining us. I trust you're having yourself a wonderful Monday. What with the wet, wet Lagos? But you can imagine how Lagos could be when it rains. Oh, yes. A lot of people are already crying on radio. I listened <laughs> to the radio coming this morning and mm. the usual cry about traffic, about flooding in mm. some parts because of bad roads and True. all of that. And I just feel so sorry for those who are going to be stuck in traffic this morning those who are going to be struggling to get buses yes. to work this morning. It's, it's no joke. Mm. But that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what Lagos traffic. is known for. All right. So we're taking a look at the theme of the day, uh, which is the influence of culture in shaping our mindset. Mm. Our culture has a way of making us who we are. True. Very yeah. true. You know, because culture is like, um, just like um, a bundle of them all that we have learnt, sin, our belief, our belief system, our way of life, even the religion and uh, the kind of food we eat, uh, the clothes we wear, a whole lot has to do with our cultural perspective in Nigeria. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Nollywood has been very good at um, projecting our culture, uh, been very good at exporting our culture. Mm -hmm. Although there are also concerns that some of the things portrayed in Nollywood movies are okay. not doing good to <laughs> True, our culture. But we'll be taking a look at that in depth as we discuss mm. with Telma, who is um, a producer and an actress in the Nollywood mean. movie industry. Mm. All right, moving away from the theme of the day, we have the top trending, the first top trending. FG spends one million naira annually on each inmate at correctional facilities nationwide. Yeah. Well, that's according to the media advisor to the Minister of Interior, Raoul Faribishola, who made it known on Saturday in Abuja. Maureen, if just one um, inmate uh, uh, actually gets to, in, not, I won't say enjoy, the federal government gets to spend them about a million uh, on one um, inmate. Just imagine the number of um, inmates we have around um, the custodial uh, correctional centers in mm -hmm. Nigeria. That's like very, very huge. That's massive. But yeah. although it's still arguable because uh, I, they've not broken down to explain how they got to that particular one million, is it on just their feeding or just their general upkeep? Well, from what we saw, that means if you're breaking down the one million mm. annually, mm. that means each one of them uh, gets uh, to be spent, uh, have uh, 83,333 naira spent on each one every month. It's too far. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, though the federal government has said it will no longer feed inmates incarcerated for breaching state laws, um, the, the, the states will take over from that, uh, from the federal government with regards to feeding those who. Um, 
breached state laws. Okay. However, Nigerians, of course, will no doubt jump in on this and begin to ask, really, you spent that much One on them? Million. Do you yeah. really spend that much on them? Look at the picture there. Mm. I saw that picture some days ago, and I mean, my heart bled. Yeah, because if you look at the condition of living for this inmate, it's really nothing. It leaves uh, a whole lot to be desired because uh, they live in crowded um, uh, cells, as it were, and uh, one million naira. I'm still, if you calculated it down to about 83,000, that is, mm -hmm. which is even more than um, the minimum wage. If the federal government says it is paying um, 83,000, uh, okay, monthly, day, monthly mm -hmm. to inmates, calculate how much it pays uh, its workers, mm -hmm. 30,000 naira. Yeah. Well, Mr. Arabo Shalada, that the President Mohammed mm. Buhari led administration had to a large extent address the problem of inmates contracting diseases in custodial centers. Mm. The minister also decried the enormous challenges of running correctional services with huge demands for infrastructure, equipment, and maintaining the welfare of inmates. He, however, assured that the federal government had provided long term solution to the challenges. Mm. It is really something that they have to look at. Because if you still look at it, Maureen, I, I, the part you talked about, uh, the problem of addressing uh, uh, the called custodial center, like I had said before, their living condition is really nothing to write home about. And uh, I don't think they really have access uh, to medical care as at when they really need it. Because if one inmate gets sick, uh, I mean, it will not take a while before um, the other ones have get up the, the, the way they live. Are the pictures are gory. You know, when mm. you look at, compare prisons in, in the, well, I've not been to the prisons well, abroad. We'll when I traveled, I, mm. go, I didn't go to, because I didn't know anyone in prison. But yeah. from what we see in their movies, mm. um, it's, it's a fact. Yes. I mean, look at, it's just not, no, this is not how, a way. Well, it's, it's uh, and the sad way thing is that well. most of them, from what we saw, the figures released last week, mm. most of them, the larger percentage of them are awaiting trial. That's the thing. That's the a thing. waiting trial, and you get to be in these kind of situations. Mm -hmm. And more, the thing is that they could be awaiting trial for uh, an offense. They would have even spent like five, seven years, and the offense might not even be up to that. As in, what they should actually spend. Uh, Had they been found guilty? Had found they been guilty, you know. So at the That's end of the day, I mean, what happens to the time they've wasted? And what about those who were who would eventually be found to be innocent? Because probably they were in the wrong place at the right well, time okay. or something like that. Mm. So they really need to do yeah. a lot more to, to help the people in prisons get uh, a better life. Yes, yeah, they are there for. It's supposed to be correctional, isn't it? Yes. That's, That's why it was changed from prison to correctional. Correctional. Centers. So, how mm. do you stay in a place like that and have any kind of correctional thing going on in your head? But they still have their rights. Even if, even in as much as they are in prison, they still have a right, you know, to uh, to better life. Now, they, 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 there's a freedom of the human person, so they should actually not be kept like um, animals and just compact them in prison cells like this. It is really not healthy. It is not, like you said, it is gory. It is a nice so to know that at this uh, 21st century, Nigerians are still living in such um you know, harrowing um, um, conditions at our correctional centers. Yeah. Well, moving on to the second. Top trending, IGP orders show Kuti's arrest for assaulting police officer. Well, mm. video emerged over the weekend mm -hmm. where we saw uh, the musician uh, Shion Kuti, Kuti yes. uh, you know, having a very physical mm. experience with the policeman. Um, mm. When I saw it, I was like, oh. I was shocked because uh, this, it's wrong at all. At all at, um, if you look at it from all angles, it is wrong. No, no matter what the policeman had done, I mean, I just feel that uh, you have no right assaulting a police officer. First of all, he is empowered by law. If you have any dispute, there are ways of actually re uh, resolving this, but not um, resorting to physical assaults. Yeah, well, I hear that um, he's gotten a lawyer, um, okay. the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana. Um, oh, wow. um, I understand that, um, according to reports from the, 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 the lawyer that he's going to make himself available today because mm -hmm. I understand that uh, he's on the run. Well, these are some of the stories we heard uh, regarding this matter. And it, it is a serious, mm -hmm. it, it's a serious it matter. Is. Um, an issue, yeah. Well, the, the, the judge, the court will decide how uh, the matter would uh, 
would move from now because okay. uh, it is, uh, if I understand correctly, it could attract up to three years imprisonment it could. if found guilty. Mm. Because uh, from the uh, all reactions I've also uh, thrown on this particular development, lots of people are actually pleading. Uh, even the, the police uh, spokesman in Lagos was in the news and, and he said that uh, it is up to the court of law to decide um, the fate of uh, Shenwu uh, Kuti and not just by pleas uh, made by his uh, uh, colleagues uh, in um, the music and, of course, in the movie scene. And I must commend the calmness of the police officer. Mm. He did not retaliate mm -hmm. in any way. I think there was an accident from what we we, we can if see or what screen, we, yeah. we, we, we heard over the weekend. There was an, an accident and the policeman was just calm and, and you know, I think we should, um, well, let's wait and see how the court delivers judgment on yeah, this very just, sensitive crossed, matter. Um, of course. And the third top trending, we'll move over to the top, the third top trending, and that is uh, the landlord who released his dog <laughs> to attack a tenant over 45,000 45, naira. It's a very um, sad one. Uh, he came back home and discovered that he was not allowed in. He was mm. locked out for two good hours. Mm. And eventually, when he got into the compound, confronted the landlord, why did you lock me out? Mm. And the landlord uh, cautioned him that if he didn't stop questioning him, he would release his dog, you know, on him. And he did just that. He did just that. And I saw the video, very big wild dog. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw pictures of them and I was like, uh, why does he have to get, go to that extent of uh, releasing um, his um, dogs uh, to attack her? He's a tenant. Even if there is a dispute, like I said, there are ways of uh, resolving There you have that, you know? uh, the image of that. Uh, mm. There's the dog. There's the dog. Oh, very big dog. Attacking the, t the poor tenant. Wow. For, for over, if you look at it again, Maureen, it's just um, 45,000 naira. That's abuse of power. It is. On the part of the landlord. It is. That's an abuse of power. A victim, give him eviction notice. Do things properly. If you uh, yes, don't want look, him in your compound anymore. You tell him to go and... Um, give him the necessary issues. three months or one month, course, depending yeah, on the agreement. It. True. And not just on unleash um, dogs um, after him. It, it is bad. Uh, if you look at it from any angle, it is crazily bad. I can't imagine what the guy must have gone through, the trauma and everything. And I'm sure he'll be scared of dogs for the rest of his life. Uh, listening to the video yesterday, mm. apparently he's been bitten by that dog before. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. He's been bitten by that dog before because when the landlord threatened to release the dog, he said, well, the dog, this won't be the first time the dog will be wow. biting Wow, so he's him. been doing that He's before. been doing that Or maybe that the dogs will just release that any time uh, there are issues. That's wow. just bad. So, so bad. So bad. And I hope uh, the guy uh, has been given medical attention and uh, anti-rabies or something because you just can't be too careful. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, those are the top trending this morning. From there, we'll be taking a break to look at what the weather is like today and what it will be like, especially if you're yet to leave your home, you want to know, so you know how to prepare already is, is wet. So you don't need to be told that. Yeah. You need to get your umbrella, and your breath. boots, and whatever you need to get to keep yourself warm. We'll take this weather report and be back to take a look at all the press and the headlines. Stay with us.